What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Boss Ross Gaming. Today, finally, maybe, we open a lot of packs. Now, you're probably wondering, it's been a little while since we've gotten to see you do a big pack opening. I have recorded two, maybe three, I don't know, and life has just gotten so far away from us at certain points in time that those are so old they don't matter. I pulled some heat, I pulled some things I needed, but we still are lacking in live series. I think we have three teams left to complete for live series. We did the NL so we could get Sammy Sosa to have in our outfield, and then I think we need the Angel. Angels, Yankees, and Rangers, I believe. No. Yeah, I... Just kidding. I only need the Yankees and the Angels to complete it. Our goal here is to pull enough heat to either just pull the cards we need and get it done or pull enough stubs. I have a lot of show packs, 18 ballin, a few diamond duos, a couple alter ego. I have the boss pack, which I'll talk about my reasoning for when picking and why. I have the choice pack here and then I have the rare pack from the grind. I kind of talk to these as I get to them. I wanted to have a lot of packs so I could kind of talk to you guys and like, you know, we just chill and hang out just like the good old days. Here we go. I'm gonna start by ripping some show packs here. I hope you guys have been enjoying set three. I think the content itself has been an amazing dub. Hold on. I'm through two sentences and we pull a chase pack. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've wanted to pull the rare round of a chase pack every single time. And I've been heartbroken every single time. If this is the one where we finally get Ellie De La Cruz, I will lose my mind. <sighs> Isn't he so beautiful? This also high key best card art in the game. See like that content, like that Ellie. I also like how they have gone to more of the back to the grind 99 and not pack 99 because they are putting all these really cool cards behind some packs you have to put your subs in. Because there's a lot of cards that I've wanted to use, wanted to get to, but I am so determined to get through live series that I really just put all my stubs towards that. And I also am dumb and like I do BR and I kind of burn my stubs that way because I want to make a good team because I have this vision of myself going 12 and 0, which will probably never happen. I don't don't know how often I've said this or how often you guys watch my live streams or whatever. I had 11 win run and I recently just had like as of this recording on my stream I had an 8 win run. I'm doing okay. Now here's the issue right? As I said content's been pretty cool. We've had a lot of cool stuff that's dropped. A lot of cool cards like all the TA3 collection cards or no maybe not all of them but like there's some cool ones in there right? The Corbin Carroll being the highest one. The set 3 collection? I don't even know what direction I'm gonna go. Ronnie looks sick and Adley looks insane. I want them both. The BR rewards like those all look cool. Boss rewards rewards are honestly pretty sick in their own regard. Like those are some cards you could throw in the goth squad and have some fun with. I'm very happy with what dropped. However, when they dropped all these cool NGL cards, the John Donaldson's, the Rube Foster's, the et cetera, et cetera, right? All these dudes who can pitch and play in the field. It just brought back to the forefront the Shohei glitch, which was the bringing the two-way player out of the bullpen. And he has max stamina for like, you know, BR, which is sucky. But it also... I was running into people doing it in the event, which has been like the all-star event you're playing in Seattle, which sucked by the way, because Seattle's ballpark was literally built in the middle of a black hole. Nothing flies there. Am I the only one? Comment down below if you can actually hit in that park. Anyway, so I actually had it happen there and I was so frustrated. I was just bouncing back and forth because I don't want to go into ranked yet. I'm sitting at 700 because I finished for the first time ever at like 810 or something like that. The best I've ever done in a ranked series. I'm going to wait till I'm back here full time grinding this and then hopefully I have, you know, my better swings and stuff going on because I really, 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 really want to make World Series. Bleach is something that's being worked on so hopefully by the time I come back both those things of I'll be here my normal schedule glitch will be taken care of so bullpens actually matter Besides, okay listen we, we pulled that chase pack and then we've got nothing what are your guys' thoughts on set three like who's your favorite set three card so far like it can be a collection dude it can be a boss it can be the lightning show hey there's a lot I honestly haven't dabbled enough in the set three guys to like give my full honest opinion but I will say my surprise card that I've really enjoyed was Michael Harris like that card's like max contact and like 70 pop was super good. I'm not sure he's making the God Squad, but like I have Riley Green, who's a similar card with more pop versus righties. I got a diamond on the wrong side. I got a dinner. Let's go. That looks that looks good. IRL baseball. I mean, you know, we had All Star break not too long ago to see some cool home run derby stuff. We got to see the All Star game with Colorado's catcher being the guy that won the game and got the cool card. Like that's pretty sick. And I think he wasn't even like initially selected to the team. I'm pretty sure he was backup reserve. Is that the right word? Came into the game cold hit a home run that's pretty dope shout out to the nl for actually winning i don't know when the last time it was but i feel like i had one tooth when that happened so hopefully all your teams are doing well like i know that's probably not possible with more than 10 people that watch being a cardinals fan it's been really cool lately we've won five in a row we're eight and two in our last 10 and I've, the last two pack opening videos that we've that we've done here has been me complaining about how bad we are and what we need to do and you guys haven't got to see it so i think that we are still will be and should be be sellers 
at the deadline and nothing crazy like don't blow up the team keep this core of goldie nolan nolan walker brendan donovan who i love and go get pitching and i think we run it back in 24. i'm totally down for us to get rid of edmund i mean not really but if, if we traded him it wouldn't break my heart if we got a good return i think tyler o'neill needs to be traded i think dylan carlson's probably the one who gets traded i think uh montgomery and flaherty get traded i don't know just how the feeling is. These are pretty, let's, let's, let's do a few balling. I do think we should sell. I don't think we're catching up to anybody. If we do, I don't think our bullpen is going to be good enough to take us over the top. Unless this guy comes back and leaves us. Chat, we need some heat in here. What is going on? I mean, you're not chat, you're YouTube, you're the internet. I'm curious to see what happens. Um, again, as of time I'm recording this, the, uh, the Orioles traded for Fujinami, which who knew that he was a target for anyone? You know, like, that's interesting. He has, like, a 88 ERA. They traded, like, one minor leaguer. They're like, ah, we'll just we'll give him a shot. The Orioles are working on some, like, interesting magic and timing here. So I feel like they're going to add some actual needs and improvements to the team. I'm not sure exactly what they need because I'm not following that crazy because I've just been happy the Cardinals have been good for once. Because when the Cardinals are good, I pay attention to us. And when we're bad, I don't pay attention to anything. I just want it to end, okay? We're pulling gold. I want to see blue. My biggest thing with the Cardinals is I don't want to get rid of Brendan Donovan. I love him. He is high key right now, our third best player in terms of what he brings to our team. In terms of setting the table offensively, having a little bit of pop at the top of the lineup too, surprisingly. And his utility around playing outfield, playing infield. I mean, he can play everywhere except like center field and catch. If we move him, I'll be eternally sad, but also a fan of whatever team he goes to because... Yeah, he's the coolest. He's the best. I wish that I was interrupted more by pulling cool stuff out of these show packs, especially having 159. But you know what? If we wasted this whole time opening show packs, getting nothing to pull Ellie De La Cruz, who's still going for 550K, I'll take it. I'll just see some blue though, you know? Just like at least some stubs. I might not even complain. We have pulled over 100 of these packs and nothing. Let's do the diamond duos. Let's do these. I mean, the silver duos. I don't even know who could be in here. I don't care. You know, just give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, we could get Kyle Tucker. Oh, that, that, I've heard good things about Tucker. I didn't... What? What a tease. I'm talking about I heard how good he is. What if I got live series, Kyle Tucker? Wouldn't that just be the, the silliest thing ever? I didn't. I got Zach Gallon, who could be a Cardinal if we weren't a moron. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I guess I can't complain, right? We got stubs. Zach Gallon. Done. Boom. We did it. Let's go ahead. I'm probably going to go pack three on both of these to give me two chances at Chris Sale because I feel like my I feel like my rotation's not very good. Back to the show packs. So look at that. We already got double gold on the end. Chat, you know what they say? Two golds on the end makes a diamond within four packs. Okay, there's one. There's two. They might have lied to me. There's three. Oh, there's a gold on the end. If he doesn't go up, I've got so many Boba Shets, I want him to just go to diamond already. All right, they lied to me. I don't know what they're I don't know what they're talking about, but they're spreading propaganda. And I'm not gonna have it. Something else, guys. If you're if you're watching this, I didn't realize it. Like we have grown quite a bit in the subscriber count. Maybe you never watched a long video from me. Maybe you don't want to watch any more long videos from me. I don't know. But we have done a lot of YouTube shorts and TikTok like there. We doubled it, but we do a lot of those. We've been on like a consistent daily grind for like it's almost been a month. And we have seen some incredible growth from that. So I've been very, very happy and pleasantly surprised by that consistent grind on that for all of you who are maybe new watching this thank you for subbing for all of you who have supported thank you for watching and loving what we do and supporting us i hope that when you watch this video all the bad luck i'm having could be instantly transferred into your packs and you pull nothing but aaron judges live series judges on repeat nothing but chase packs and ellie's what if we you know what hold on let's think about this if I don't get one diamond out of a show pack, is it possible we can get another chase pack and we have two chances at that card that everybody wants? And also, if I get him, am I gonna keep him? Am I gonna sell him? I don't know. I'm in a conundrum. I could use the stubs to finish live series, but like, he's also insane. He's 18 feet tall. He has a good swing. He has great defense and speed. Like he might be the wild card boy. I don't know. He might beat out Chipper. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just pulled Tyler O'Neill like twice in three packs. In case you didn't know, he's the everyday left fielder once he's not hurt. I don't know when that's going to be, but we have literally pulled the chase pack and that is it in 100 and 
40 packs. Wouldn't it be nice if there was heat left somewhere in these packs? And wouldn't it be nice if we could pull it? I'm getting diamonds on the wrong side. Yo, you know what? That's actually pretty cool. I like those. Go Rockies. 10 packs, come on. Just one diamond. I don't. I know we got the chase pack. I feel like one diamond player isn't asking a whole lot out of this many packs. One diamond is, what is that to you? know, what, what's just tossing me 3,000 stubs? I love this game. I have a great time playing it. I play it every, not every day, every stream. I do this a lot. Like, can you give me something? Three, three packs. You know, if you want to count, if you want to make it dramatic, we can pull on the last one. I pulled Live Series, Ellie. Is that a sign? Are we going to pull the better version? I don't know. Probably not. I pulled not one. I'm going to puke. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to do this choice pack. And here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I think the card that I want the most. I think I'm going to go the draft pack. Because I think I want to try and pull Skeens or Cruise. Because I think Skeens is the way I'm going to go. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens there. But we're going to do these alter egos. And hopefully pull a rare round here. Rare round, rare round, rare round. I'm not going to use any of you. So let's take Lou Brock. Who, you know is the best Cardinal ever, kind of. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Give me somebody good. <gasps> Ooh, okay, now listen. I said I was gonna take Chris Sale, right? I'm taking Chris Sale. Let's go. We got the 99 we wanted? Yo, come on. I I believe in us, kind of. All right, ballin' is a gold. If I pull a diamond out of this, I will literally eat a beetle on this camera. Because... For some reason, the pack look is just non-existent. When I say it doesn't exist, I mean it doesn't exist. Like, we got... I'm not going to pull one diamond out of anything here. I talk my little heart about baseball. I talk much I love this game. How much heart and soul and sweat. I pulled Helsley again. Okay. <sighs> It's crazy. I feel like out of a... Okay. You know what? I better go find me a big juicy bug. Because this is about to be Shohei. It's blue. I don't know if I should be excited or not. I don't know what this could... Like, this might make me cry. This might make me pew. I don't know what's going to happen. Is he still expensive? Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Don't get too excited. Oh my gosh. I, I'm going to go find, I'm going to go Lion King. I'm going to go find a grub, a big juicy grub. And I'm about to just slurp that thing down. Oh my Lord. What a pull. Okay. You know what? I know I'm pulling nothing out of the chase pack now. I know there's absolutely nothing in there. Oh my gosh. I, you know what? Let me pull a silver. Let me pull nothing but silvers out of here. I don't give a fluff. Yo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go with the boss pack and let's talk about what we want to do here. Let's talk about what we have, what we need, etc. We need pitching, but I, I think the Zach Gallon is probably not good enough, right? Like his velo isn't there. Mike Cameron's interesting. 90 speed, solid contact varieties, great versus lefties. What's his clutch? 118 clutch. It's pretty good. Simeon, I always love his swing. I think he always has a great swing. He has 125 clutch. And I honestly kind of want a second baseman. Buck O'Neill looks really good too. Plays for a first baseman with 85 speed is kind of insane. He has max clutch, great contact, got enough pop. I have only heard insane things about Jock Peterson. We're going to take Jock. He has a good swing. He's got like 60 speed, I think. Our draft pack and hope we get the rare round because then we'll decide after that. Give me this rare round. Be nice to me. This is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to me ever. Just kidding. Okay, we're going to go. Does it matter? Hold on. 17K. 17K. 16k 16k 17k i'm just gonna take the most expensive one and it's tommy troy i might sell him i don't know maybe we just want the stud we got him let's go to the rare pack and see what we want to do here there are a few options there's yandy 
I just got a first baseman, so I don't really want to waste it on him. Even though I think his car does look really nice. What's his? He looks good. Got that good contact at 100 power. Skeens is probably the one that I want the most. Max Clark, I've heard great things, but guess what? I am 0 for 3 in BR with him, okay? I don't know why. I can't do it. I did just use Randy in BR, and he was in that run 7 for 14 with 6 extra base hits. Oh, he was kind of gross. Dylan Cruz. I used him. I was 0 for 1. That's fine. He does look nice, though. Listen, I understand why he's good. He's a righty who's good against righties, which makes him kind of fun. Has 125 clutch. Has decent enough defense. I don't want him. He doesn't look nice. And, like, once I get Adley, he's gone anyway. Vlad is a good option. I think I'm going to go Paul Skeens. I need the pitching. I want to try him. Boom. Paul Skeens. There he is. And now, chat, it's the chase pack. I would love... I'll, I'll eat every bug I can find. If they would just put Ellie De La Cruz in this pack, I'm going to open it. It has to be a diamond. If gold pops up, I might break a bone. If purple pops up, I might burst a blood vessel. I don't know. Here we go. Here it is. I can't even hear anything right now. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not going to react until I'm going to count to like 15 and see who it is. Eyes closed. Clicked it. It's very bright, so I already feel like it's yellow, but I'm just hyping myself up. I forgot to count. Am I at five? Who could this be? Who is it? Do you love me? Do you hate me? It's not. It's Garrett Cole. Why is it so bright? Why does, why does purple look yellow? I need to go to the doctor. Okay, listen. It's Stubbs. I got Chris Sale. I pulled Edwin Diaz. Listen, this was, this was an okay pack opening. I have a couple complaints, but overall, we got Stubbs. We got, we can do some more live series stuff. I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you could do me the most absolute solid thing on the planet and give this video a like, leave comments down below about anything I talked about. Like, I'm going to give you one more option. Tell me your favorite, like, dessert. I don't know. Let's be, let's not talk about baseball down there. I don't know. Tell me anything. Tell me your favorite color. Tell me, like, your favorite baseball brand. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Anything you want to. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Share it. Subscribe if you're new here. I appreciate any and all forms of support. It's all greatly appreciated. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully we get some more pack look like this so we can build our stub count and get through some more stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you all next time.